don't have to move to a new music scene, you can create your own. Bobby Boy here, AKA a coach, helping you turn your passion for music into a more successful business. In the last 30 years, I've drummed with the multi-platinum group War, written several music business books published by Billboard, and taught as a professor at top universities like USC. I recently Zoomed with a young producer who asked me about music scenes. Here's his question, and here's my answer. Hi, Bobby, my name's Chance. I'm a local producer in a small market, and I was wondering, how do you build up a scene when there is no scene? Okay, well, keep in mind, of course, that if you're talking about creating a scene online, there's already communities like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube that you can jump into and literally blow up overnight, no matter where you live, obviously, of course. But if you're talking about creating an offline scene, remember that in every small town and every city, there's musicians and music lovers with big hearts and big dreams that want to come together in a community with like-minded people. Take Princeton, New Jersey, for example, where I grew up. There was no music scene, but what musicians did is they created a scene by literally going to the local YMCA and there was literally this dance studio in there and that's where we would throw regular concerts and we promote it by getting all of the high school kids and local college kids to come to these events. There was also youth centers that we played. There was local coffee shops. There was the community parks that we played. You do house parties. You would do school dances. There were even people that performed at Princeton University frat houses. Every town has a focal point. In Princeton, it was the fountain. So we'd, be, we'd do these concerts you know, on the, on the weekends at, at the fountain. When I was living in another town called Waltham, Massachusetts, another small town, there was no music scene there either. So what we did is we created it. We imported it. We used to have a house and we did concerts in the cellar and we'd actually um, hand out, you know, posters and do other types of promotion and things to the local colleges around the area. And then we'd actually tell them what trains to get on. And we have pickup points at the trains. We'd have vans and we'd bring hundreds of people to these parties. And they got so popular, we actually branded the house the rock house. And during the week, even people would stop over and people would, would, would jam and things like that. It became like the, the focal point, the place to hang out. There are people that actually start open mics. They go to a restaurant or a local coffee house, and they actually set up uh, local regular um, open mics where poets and spoken word people, and musicians could come up to perform. And then there's even people like you, producers that actually in their own homes, they set up like, you know, it's the place where local bands come and record, but also a place where people come and hang out and jam. So again, no matter where you are, you know, a small city, a small town has musicians with big hearts and big dreams where people want to come together in a community and they want to be around other like-minded people and partying. So you just have to be really creative. Now on that note, I know you got some stuff uh, that's happening on your end. Give us the, the six second uh, promotion of a recent project that you've done. I recently self-produced a track called Emergence of the Excitable One. It's on Spotify and all the other major platforms. Go check it out now. If you want to learn more about how you can turn your passion for music into a more successful business, be sure to check out this video or the video linked in the description below.